guys, it's Teresa here of Larkin Design, and I'm with my working on my Disney album today. I am finishing up my layouts from our day at Epcot, and um, so I decided to sort of go a different route today and use some of my Pink Paisley Paige Evans collections. Um, most of what I'm using is from Fancy Free and um, nothing like getting in new collections to help you use up some of your older collections and I also decided to go ahead and use a couple of my products from Take Me Away. Um, I don't have um, everything from that collection yet but I did want to use just a couple of things um, particularly the alphabet. I love it. Oh my god I love that alphabet. And um, you see another, a couple of other things, I think, here and there. Um, but most of the products I'm using today are from Paige Evans' Fancy Free collection. Um, this journaling card right here is from Solon Studios' Project Mouse. Um, it's the only one that I decided to use from that collection today. And so I have a, um, a one last photo from Epcot showing the Epcot ball at night, um, standing out over the water um, on the other side from the countries um, and looking back over the park. So, um, and I realize I sort of covered it up. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so this is one of the cards that's going underneath the photo. I printed the photo of Epcot in 8x12 and cut it up to fit into the pocket and then that leaves two journaling cards underneath um, to complete. So I write my journaling on the Solon Studios card and then this was in the cut apart sheet. This journaling or filler card was on the cut, the cut apart sheet in Fancy Free and um, so I had bought the, the paper pad from this collection and I have to say that there were a couple of the um, cut apart sheets, a couple of the cards that were too short for the um, pocket. I'm not sure what happened with the printing there. Um, this one was fine but you'll see on the other side of the page I'll have to go back and fix that. Um, no big deal really. Um, but this one I just added the transparency elements um, those flowers, I just cut them in half and put one half on each side. Um, that's frequently how I handle adding just a little tiny bit to those um, cards. And then I'm going to add a little bit to the photo, um, just one element. And I'm, so I'm going to write out the words Epic Day. And you'll see me do that. And I just sort of chose, I love how these alphabets are um, they're painted diagonally and each one is a little bit different um, within the color scheme excuse me um, so that was fun you know another way to get a little bit of color and break up some of the monotony of that photo um, so I'm gonna just put those down and then I'm gonna put a little tiny glitter heart I thought about adding something else, and then I just decided to leave it. And that was that side, so I'm going to go on to the next side, and I'll show it later up close so you can see um, how it all turned out. So this is the card that was too small for the 4x6 pocket. Excuse me. And um, I appear to be tired today. <laughs> So um, I'm just going to trim it down a little bit more. I wanted to use this for journaling, and I, um, of course, I love that little delicate floral. Um, so it's a great background for this little journaling card. Um, and then uh, now I have a little space to decorate around it. So that's always one strategy if that happens. I've found in the past sometimes... Um, that sometimes the cut apart sheets like they don't quite match up if you if they have a front and a back they don't quite match up and this with this one the um the cards across the bottom were just slightly smaller they were probably more like three and three quarters inches 
So this is one way to handle that. Just back it with a, a pattern paper and then add some, some embellishments around it. So what I'm writing about here, um, what happened on this side was when we left the park that night, we took the tram to our car and it turned out to be an epic tram ride. Um, <laughs> there were, it was, it was really busy. This was the day before New Year's Eve. So the park was like completely crowded and just people going everywhere, trams going everywhere. And so the people who were driving, the, the cast members who were helping to control the crowds and were driving the tram and all that, they were a little bit, um, punch happy. <laughs> So they were, they kept saying we were in a tram jam, which of course the kids thought were hilarious. And um, there were some other things that they were saying about, you know, if you if you forgot where your car was, then you're going to need more than a sleeping bag and a tent to get you through. Um, and there was just some, some funny things that they were saying. And it was, even though it took a really long time to get to the car that night. It was still kind of funny, and of course, you can see on the girls' faces, they were having an absolute blast. Um, yeah, they they weren't ready to go five minutes before that. <laughs> so anyway, um, so that is really what this layout is about, and what, what I wrote um, in my journaling about, and just sort of some thoughts about ending the day there. And so... Um, all of the journaling cards on this side and the filler cards are from the um, Fancy Free Cut Apart Sheet. And I just decided to go ahead and make that easy and go ahead and use them up. Um, and I've also added some of the wood embellishments. Um, I really like those circles that were part of the wood packet. Um, And then I'm just adding a few little bits and pieces to the photos. <laughs> they really were having a good time. Those were some, some genuine, genuine smiles. Uh, sometimes those alphabet sets have these little dots that you don't really know what to do with them and so sometimes that's how I use them. I just use them as a, a buffer between the text and the title. Um, that's just a fun way to use those up and add a little punch of color. I felt like that yellow card did need s some element of color on it um, but I wanted to have s enough space to write my journaling. Um, now this card um, actually it, it kind of turned out pretty fun I had this little strip left over from the cherish on the top photo and so I just used these little triangular strips to the um, I just added those to the top and the bottom and um, then I'm going to add just one more little um, decorative element there, the two hearts. And um, now you see me kind of struggle what to do with this card. I really love this card and I want like 50 more of them because um, I love it so much. But then when I went to embellish it, I kind of wasn't really sure what to do with it. Um, so you'll see me try a couple of different things. And so that's kind of just what I'm doing right now. Just going through. I had the ephemera pack and I had the wood, eph wood ephemera in that iris case. Um, I don't have the ephemera from Take Me Away yet. I don't know how... I didn't manage to get that in my order, um, so, but that's okay, right? Like, just totally, these two collections blend so well together. Um, so, 
I ended up using those two chipboard um, flag pieces, I guess. That's what they're called. And I just called it a day with that. And so um, this layout is pretty much done. I'm going to clean up and I'll show you some close-ups. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Be sure to like and comment and subscribe. And I'll see you back tomorrow with Throwback Thursday. Thanks again. Bye-bye.